trash. <laughs> Uh, surprisingly, because it, we all know that Steam versions of DOS games are usually really good. Mm -hmm. You guys are laughing, uh, by the way, so whatever. But for, for this running. game, if you play it on GOG, um, I guess they've like manually set the cycles by default lower than the uh, Steam version. Because a lot of cutscenes on the Steam version will just skip instantly. I'm just going to go into it and it's going to be a cutscene, then I'll just tell you when I'll exit out and see what you do. Yeah, just tell me when to start. All right, three, two, one, start. All right, so this is Harvester. Um, the goal of this is to get through to the, we're going to get to the harp, really, um, I guess, the Church of the Harvest in six days and skip all the stuff we don't need to do. All right, so this guy's annoying. This is Jimmy. Um, I want to kill him, but I can't because that'll take too much time, so we'll play along this game. You have to give him papers um, on the 4th, 5th, and 6th days, um, so they won't shoot you because you're not doing the job for him. Right, so if, if you, uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy James is his name, I think? Yeah. Um, he'll ask you for a paper every single day, and if you go three days without giving him a paper, he'll shoot you. Steve. Now, the nice thing is, though, you could also kill him and take his gun. And then uh, you can do a little glitch to just leave the sheriff's office. So you will have a handgun if you want, but Come to we're not going to do that because that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Did we uh, reach the donation incentive to type "fuck" to mom? <laughs> I can Once do you it, take. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You'll like realize the importance of maintaining quality like while cutting costs. Yeah, we so know what we're doing here. Yeah. The. Can Playing this game through DOSBox is really, You're really fantastic. Don't be such a but I also think that the game just wasn't that good even originally. I don't think it's just emulator glitches. Uh, there's another bit of speed tech here that um, I, I feel like a lot of people don't even realize. But whenever you click on a, an exit way, well, normally um, I can't remember the character's main name, but or the main character's name. But normally he will. Steve, he will walk to the door, and then once he touches the door, that's a loading zone, and he will go through. But it turns out if you just double click on the door, you'll go through instantly. And that saves a hell of a lot of time throughout the entirety of the run, and it also allows you to do a lot of uh, stupid glitches. I don't think we use any in the run. But if you were to kill somebody, normally Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne would want to kill you in return, but you can just double click on the doorway and leave before he has a chance to kill you. Huh. You're such a kidder, Steve. <laughs> such a kidder. So we just went to the police station to get some evidence from that room. We have the, well, the evidence is the gas um, can and also the button in it. It's going to use to blackmail the um, postal clerk today. Yeah, so we need to get a, uh, a lodge initiation paper. And the only way that we can really get one is by blackmailing the postman. Huh. Give my. And I can't go up the stairs because it's like Mr. Potsdam first because Mr. Potsdam will say, you gotta talk to Mrs. Potsdam before you go upstairs to meet our, um, our fiance, which Steve has no idea about. So I'm going here and grab the ore loop, which we're gonna use on the second day to get a, um, pothole remover. Is that Carl? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Alright, so go to the post office. 41% off pack of peanuts. That's a good deal. That's a pretty, and, that's a pretty good deal. And for some reason, I can't and what um, if I press any of the, the keys on this. Oh, I and you to go into that for whatever reason. I have no idea why. It's the only um, scene where I can't. Oh my god. It. Right, yeah, yeah, another thing is um, <clears throat> some dialogue in this game, you can use number keys to get through it, and some dialogue you can't. And then there's also dialogue where it says you can use the number keys. That's but if you do, it will just choose a different dialogue option, and that will fuck you. <laughs> and that's like right at the very end of the game that that dialogue <laughs> option happens as well. So um, a lot of us, whenever we were just running the game, because most of us didn't really put any effort into this, we would get to the end and we would hit the number key, and that would kill the run. <laughs> Did you ever do that, Solaris? Yeah, I've done it yeah. Times. yeah, I think I've done it five times myself. <laughs> it's it's a pretty good meme. So we got the tire, um, excuse me, the bottle remover. We're gonna use it on the Johnson residence because that's the first test that the Sergeant Arms gave us is to um, 
vandalize his tucker in this um, garage over here, which I can't get into because it's secure. If you actually talk to him during the day, he um, talks about the um, measures that he took to um, um, get it secure like that. So we're going to put the shovel, which we'll be sweeping with um, for the next couple of days too. So I got a question. Yep. Are we going for the nuke ending? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not. I'm Fuck. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, you can technically go for the nuke ending on the first day. Yeah, it's <laughs> any percent. It's true. <laughs> it's, like it's, true. it's the true any percent, yeah. Can we get a quick any percent run after this? Wow, did you just scratch that man's car? I that is so that man's car. It's rude as fuck. That is so rude. He's gonna get very triggered by that. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I would be too. <laughs> hey, but it's all for the good. Yeah, Alright, we can go to the, the lodge and talk to the Sergeant yeah, Arms and we do the so did the task. And we get our next test. Stairs out of window menacingly. Yeah. Alright, so this is an interesting little puzzle right here. I don't think anybody can come over this immediately. So you have to um, use the daughter that I got in the garage to deactivate the security system. That's so we can finally visit oh, our dad. Oh, wait, wait, almost forgot. Almost forgot. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, well, who are you? That You're my... That I don't remember. Of no, you... Let... Of... By the way, that's a lot of that. Uh, this so that. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation? Yeah, this is what I'm all about, actually. Uh, uh, maybe later, dear. Right now, I have <laughs> housework to do. Um, so you can watch if you want. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he. I have. Two? Is it on? <laughs> you got grabbed by the ghoulies, I think. I'm like, yeah. That was on. Come on. So for this route, do we have to check the crib in that room, or do we never check it? Which one? Do we check the crib in that room? No. Ah, oh, damn. Probably no. don't. No, that, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so, um, this is our father's room. We're gonna use it to get the permission slip for the meat that we need for today. Now, go, I think that man go grab my cool. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and Jimmy's gonna yell at us again. All right, so get on to the meat plan again. Is that the last time that we're allowed to skip Jimmy James? Yes. Okay. Because this is the third day. So. And I mean, there is a chance that he might not shoot you, but it's incredibly low. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Jimmy have a gun? Because he's the paper boy. He's the paper boy. He's, <laughs> he's got to make sure you're taking the papers out. He's, he's on point. Yeah, that's the other meme. Is that he's the paper boy, and his job is to just collect papers. He doesn't deliver them. Hmm. So going to take to the fire alarm to empty out the fire station. Okay, that didn't play though. Oh. Uh, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's, it's oh, perfect. We get perfect. Uh, did that change anything on the uh, thing? What you do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to recrop now. Just, just, just keep going. Just keep going. Fuck it. It's fine. It can't be any worse than Lark's run. Cool. It's fine. <laughs> it's, just it, it, don't move the window. All right. It's, it's staying there. All right. So before going to the fire station to get the cloth that we got for the next thing, we're going to go here. Get the matches and also unbury Karen who was buried here. Now, were we fast enough there to make sure that she doesn't die? I think so. Okay. So we'll nice. see her later on. <laughs> so even though she said she's supposed to die, um, she's actually going to be right there, still playing in the hole. Even after she sits there hanging from that noose. Yes. She'll still be alive. No spoilers, Slade. That's how much we care about little girls. In this stream. So because we found Karen, we talked to Edna, we also get the money for that, which we're going to use tomorrow. Uh, fire station. So since the uh, fire truck's gone, we can use this to get oh, the ladder. Work. We're going to exit first and have it be at night. Come back to the fire station. Into there. Another thing I don't think that we mentioned is that uh, sometimes you'll see this game progress uh, from day to night and then back from night to day. 
Um, that's not on a timer or anything. It's just that once you have all of the items that you need for that night, the game will progress from day to night. And once you have all of the items that you need for that night, the day will the night will progress back to day. Yep. Uh, it's a way of the game trying to stop itself from completely fucking you. Aren't there still unwinnable like situations though? Correct. What's that? Are there any unwinnable situations still? Um, once you get into the lodge, there are tons of unwinnable situations. <laughs> yeah, but we'll get to that as we go. Yeah, I think once they got to the lodge, they were just like, nah, nah, this is where we want them to be completely fucked at all times. Yeah. This is where the fun stops. <laughs> so I got the tape that I used. You can also get that, um, that wrench, but I don't need it. There's no point. And I usually traditionally go for the general store first, then the lodge, but uh, I just goofed up a little bit there, so it's not a problem, though. No. Either one works. So we're going to take the um, barbershop window and use the shovel and break it. Turn the power off and use the flathead on this to take okay. the yeah. lamp. Go out. And cool. Day four is done. Steve a <laughs> yeah, he's just pretty much ticking off all those little things on the list now. Klepto, blackmail, murder, well, sick enough. Can you do me a favor and shout out Cruxit? Yo, can you get a shout out to Cruxit? Shout out to Cruxit. Thanks. Hell yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Crux it mod me. Alright, so it shows that the um, barber was electrocuted because of the wires that were standing in the um, water bed when he came into the building. So, um, the next thing is to burn down the diner. But before that, we need to talk to the board. Um, so he's a pyro, too. Yes. Incredible. Yeah, he's just everything. We're going to talk to the mortician in here. And we just took a picture of a corpse. Yes. So we can give it to the mortician. Wonder what he's going to use that for. Hmm. 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 Really gets those neurons fired. Really activates those elements. Yes, it does. So instead of blackmailing him, we get the glue, which we need um, to burn down Edna's diner. All right, night again. Uh, same thing as before, um, tape, then the shovel. Damn it. <gasps> Alright, so this is the most difficult grab in the game, I think, to grab. Right, so because he has the uh, shovel equipped, his character spray is like a little bit wider than normal. Damn it. Which oh, means okay. that there's only a couple pixels for him to actually grab that. Uh, oh, that cover, but if he didn't have the shovel equipped, it would be extremely easy to grab. Yeah. Alright, so we burned down the diner. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna turn off again. Oh, man. I think I did switch the battery on already. What the fuck? You got grabbed by the ghouls. This was not Hey. Alright, so day six. Uh, we're gonna pawn that we need to do one more test. Now. Nice. <laughs> and it's one for the Sergeant Arms, and they killed herself. Well, and he's saying that, um, we'll find out how it is, and lo and behold, there's been a murder. This is also the next cutscene, it's the best cutscene in the entire game. Everybody should go look it up on YouTube afterwards. It's very good. Is there not enough time in the estimate to watch it? Uh, unfortunately not. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, this is a real speed run. We don't we don't fuck around here, Hoda. Uh, or Pie Slayer? <laughs> <laughs> Slayer, I have another cake if you want it. <laughs> I could be Our persuaded if you sat it directly the, um, in front of me. The initiation test that we get, so we have to go and break into the mausoleum. That had that, um, so Karen's right there. She's still fine. She's chilling. She wasn't hung. Definitely didn't hang herself. Or, sorry, be hung by her mother. Sorry. Totally fine. Hey, you don't know that she didn't do that herself. <laughs> true, true. So we're working here to get that skull and spinal cord that we saw with the presentation. It was a dog or something like that. 
Right, combat in this game is also extremely scary because I don't know if damage is random or if the amount of hits that you take is random, but sometimes an enemy will touch you and you will just die instantly. Even though you should be able to take like five or six hits. It just, it doesn't make any sense. And it's gonna be really scary in the lodge if any of the enemies get close enough to touch us. Are you gonna go for the skip or no? The uh, the eyeball. No, I don't blame you. I'm just gonna go for the um. Well, I'm gonna go for a cutscene skip later on, or rather a dialogue skip. All right. Yeah, point that out as we get to it. I'm like doing that. So the part with this is once you're coming down into this um area, you get covered with acid, and it continuously um eats away at your health. Now you can um get it cleaned off. Um, but it's kind of tedious, and it takes too long, so we'll just not go with it. So I gotta be kind of quick, and also have good luck um, with two specific vitals that'll go to. So here's the eyeball. We're just gonna kick it and um, slice it away with that. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm glad this was secretly a survival horror game all along. Yeah. <laughs> go here. I'm gonna ignore this enemy. I gotta be quick about that too, because I can get. Uh, locked into combat with him and just make a mess of that. So I can usually have enough time to grab one of these um, items on the ground. There's three, this um, meat right here, this glass, actually there's four, okay. the sandwich, and the other well, piece of meat. Work. So I'll get out of there. Yeah, so pretty much every Go. fight in this game that, or every uh, area where you're supposed to fight an enemy in this game that doesn't have a locked door, you can <sighs> skip the fight um, by double clicking on the exit. And every area, once you have the door unlocked, if you were able to unlock the door without doing the fight, you would be able to skip it. But the next room coming up uh, is the only room in the whole entire, or no, sorry, the room after this, is the only room in the whole entire game where they actually will not allow you to double click. Because if you could, you would be able to skip this puzzle. Yep. Also, wait a couple of seconds just in case um, for the game to register that that enemy's dead because I've done it quickly sometimes, and it just doesn't register. So you come back in and look, and well, until the enemy's still alive, and you just get um, bodied by him immediately. You can't, you can't leave. Yeah, he means the, he means the skeleton, by the way. Yeah, it, it, it's happened to all of us, I think. It's really annoying. All right, so coming up is a really, um, it's kind of a stressful um, area because you have to deal with a spider and a wasp, and they can just really mess you up pretty easily. Oh, definitely. And uh, remember to put down the uh, the wood. Yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna put that up. Can okay. I get a shout out for shrimp right now? Uh, yeah. Shout out to shrimp. Shout out to shrimp. That was a great run. Hell yeah. Thanks, Hell yeah. That's epic. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. What does this mean? Uh, that's, oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. That's really not good, actually. That's really that's, not good. That's, that's about as uh, not good as it gets. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> so that's what we were talking about before, where sometimes an enemy will touch you, and what I think is happening is the, the game registers, like, 17 hits at once. Um, <laughs> and uh, and so there's, like, really nothing you can do about it, actually. So Harvester, run it. It's a pretty good game, everybody. Yeah. Do any percent now. Do, All right. Yeah, click any percent. Let's bro. do any percent. All right. Just the same as the timer's still running. Not cool. Is it faster to get nuked or kill Jimmy James? <laughs> mm. Um, you know, that's a yeah, that's a good yeah. question. These are things I never considered. <laughs> so we should find out, I guess. Okay. I mean, I can. I can't really kill him because I don't have any weapons right now. But you know. <laughs> so getting nuke problems. Probably nuke's gonna be a little faster. Yeah, let, let's just let's, let's go just for the get nuke. nuke. Let's just get nuked. Sadly. Yeah, I'd rather get shot by Jimmy. Oh. Uh. Oh. That. So you're the get you are. Now wait a minute. Yeah, are we gonna get <laughs> shot by Jimmy James, or are we going to kill him so that Dwayne Dwayne kills Safe us? God. Then. That's right. Answer the question. Those pen. That's why. They uh, let's, what was it? 
Can you just type communism I, and it'll kill you? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure you can choose any option and there is no way to not lose. Coming down. Frankly, like, th this guy is pretty adamant about the fact that you need to die. Okay, how about this? Uh, not really. I appreciate you. Comrade. All this guy does yeah. is kill you. Damn. Right in the head. Right in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Reddit. We did it. Is that we. A, is that a world record? Uh, probably. Probably, yeah. Uh, it's time. Uh, it's time. Who launched the news? <laughs> I think that's actually pretty close to what yeah. the run would have been. Yeah. 19? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Nice. What a good video game. <laughs> I love Harvest. It's a good game. Do you recommend this game? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna play it. Yeah, it's fun. No, seriously, it's probably one of the best games ever made. It's, it's the best point-and-click adventure, period. Definitely.